It looks like we're not quite done with my man Fonzel yet, because this one's called The Man Named Fonzel Continued, and I am excited. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover. Episode 56 is the one we were on. Like I said, this one's named The Man Named Fonzel Continued. So I don't, because it seemed like to wrap up pretty well last episode um, with that backstory, but I'm guessing maybe this is going to go back to the future with what Noel wants Fonzel to do, because we had to learn about Fonzel in the last episode, but I have no idea. I know we still are all looking for cures for Asta. I do, I am pretty sure no one spoiled it for me obviously just with the way it's been set up with the way we had vanessa get that little pre-tease at her backstory and what she said about that country i think we're gonna be and with the opening obviously i'm pretty sure this is gonna be an arc about going to the witches cavern or the witches forest or whatever i am so excited i am so ready so i say we just jump right on into this episode remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching like haiku jujutsu kaisen many many more to come in the future we are four episodes ahead on patreon links are always in the description available to you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon is not really your thing if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not and click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius thank you guys so much let's hop right on into this uh, black clover episode 56 the man named fonzel continued <laughs> Yeah. It's crazy to think he technically heard about Mars before he even met him, you know? Oh, this is how Noel knows him. That's the reason how she's able to seek him out in the current times. I see. If you're naked asking me for help, I'm gonna assume you're a pervert too. I won't lie. Jesus, look at all these black bulls ready to- Oh my god, they beat him senseless. And he's just naked. Of course, here comes Asta to save the day. Bonzel would have no idea he would be on the black bulls and stuff, though. All just coincidence. Probably on the battlefield. Oh, because uh, Dominante, his, his fiance, also has a wand, right? Amy, this wand was named Code. Dominante Code. The black market in the castle city. Let's hope so. But in the future, or not in the future, in the current present time when Noel is seeking him out, he also is not with Dominante, so I'd have to assume the worst. Oh, what the? Black Bull's headquarters getting attacked? Oh, you fuck up with Yami's uh, shitting time? It's a wrap. Oh, okay, Hisoka. Oh, it's Mariella. I was like, alright, Hisoka, relax. Squad Galio. Hmm. He has spatial magic as well. I see. Oh, so she obviously is doing what she needs to do to stay alive, but she still has an admiration for him. Thunderbolt destruction? Hell yeah. I need his, like, claws and boots again. Prison death scattershot? Hell yeah. This is my boy Ghosh with nine mirrors out, ready for an ultimate reflect ray. I love this song when it plays. Oh, 
Noel's doing the protection with the barrier. Yami could single-handedly kill every single fucking mage out here. Lightless Slash. Dark, dark Cloaked Lightless Slash. I knew it. My favorite of his moves, for sure. Besides the dimensional cutting fucking Slash. <laughs> That's how you know they're strong. My man Fonzel is still naked. So go ahead, snap his neck right now. You won't. You won't, Fonzel. Oh, it's gray. I see. I was smart. I was smart on Gray's part. Still. S okay. <laughs> Everyone's heard rumors of Asta. Come on. So is Mariella actually on our side? Because uh, the Captain Galio did say she was going to see Code, but... Hmm? Eh, I could think of a couple single girls who could do a lot of shit. Okay. Safe escape route on this map. That's my question as well. I don't know if it's gonna cost her her life though, it's the only issue, you know? I see, that's maybe... That makes sense for that specific situation in order for her to get her revenge. I see, she's just like, let's do it now. <laughs> she's just in the back of the door as we're watching. Is she... I wonder though, is she looking purely to be a prisoner of war? Because I'm sure the Clover Kingdom treats prisoners of war excellent compared to some other kingdoms I could think about. Or is she looking to gain sanctuary and maybe transition over and being a magic knight that would probably be probably super hard to trust her and probably it would be a lot of work and i'm super curious to have a diamond mage on our team that'd be dope i'll probably be severely punished yeah that's what i'd assume Unopening red room. Revis men. You can take him to like his own Kamui parallel world. It's his, it's his innate domain. Domain expansion. <sighs> Duh. It's my boy Asta. That is true. It has been months since the last time you guys have seen him. I keep forgetting that. Ooh, ooh, slice and dice. Hell yeah, Fonzo. The wind sword popping off. Ooh, ooh. Some people commented on the last video that you could tell a mage's aff affiliation based off their grimoire. Because I never really take... I only look at the colors. So I like looking at the pretty colors, you know? I never really take a look at the intricacies and the closeness. Sometimes I do when it comes to like Kyoto, Kahonos, because they had like water themes one. But you can now that I actually looked at it, you can clearly tell Mariella's and Fonzel's are like diamondy they have like diamonds on them they're like crystals and it's just it's such a different aesthetic than clover kingdoms you know so now is yami gonna remember him maybe i know where i've seen him fonzo kruger 
So he does. During battle, it's exactly what I'd assume. They met on the field. He's fucking blackmailing him. Gotta do what you gotta do. That's it? I thought the Red Room was gonna be a little more serious. Okay, hey, we did it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so he did meet up with Dominante. But then why is when Noel sees him in the future or the present time, why is he alone? I'm curious. Facts. No matter what you try to do, you affect other people around you, you know? You do have to consider them. He always says that. If I linger any more, the good vibes are going to be so hard. I got to get out of here. I'm the same way, though. I feel him. My boy Asta with the bars. Hell yeah. If you ever have like an arm promise, fist bump thing always has to be in front of a son like that. And currently, Noel and Finro have come to visit in search of a way to heal Asta's arm. So this is more months in the future. <laughs> So they are there in the background. We just didn't see him originally. I see. Oh, her home. That would make a lot of sense. Does Vanessa have a wand? This is so crazy that <laughs> the smartest witch to ever grace this world is returned. Some shit like that. Um, it would make sense if Domina was from the same area, because does Vanessa use a wand? I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure she does, and if she does, then witches would have wands, and that's where Noelle got hers from the black market selling from Domina, so it would make a lot of sense. This is just so crazy. Since the creation of the land is witches of Land of Witches back. That's how the door opens, and you get... Oh, I'm never fucking... I'm never going there. All right, another episode without a petite clover. Man, I'm starting to miss them. What's going on? Maybe it's just a little Fonzel mini arc. That's what I hopefully I'm assuming because I do miss those. But uh, super interesting second part to this story was not expecting them to meet the Black Bulls in totality, whereas Ghosh and Yami know the full extent as well as uh, Asta of Fonzel's background. They don't know the full extent, but they know a good amount. And of course, Yami knows everyone from the battlefield. He's motherfucker has been fighting for a goddamn 20 years at this point. But a uh, super fun episode. Really cool seeing another spatial magic user. He has such a different, like he's like a an innate domain, like Jujutsu. It's fucking awesome. And he can create those things only in there. But of course, against anti-magic, what are you gonna do? You know, super fun though. Really glad we, uh, Mariella switched sides, makes a lot of sense, you know, she was caught between two worlds, had to choose the one she cared about more, um, really glad Dominante is back, and now she is the one who transitioned us, the audience, because Vanessa's already over there, but Noelle and Fenerol to, uh, maybe we can all go, because this next episode I'm looking, I'm pretty sure, yep, it's called Infiltration, and the thumb, the picture, I see Noel and Finral. I don't know where they are, obviously, they could be just back at the Black Bulls base, but maybe there's gonna be, maybe that's gonna be the squad for this one, Finral, Noel, and Vanessa, I am down, to see the Witch Queen, ooh, I'm down, but, uh, like I said, super fun episode, thoroughly enjoyed, um, I'm ready to hop into this next one. If you guys are as well, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes to be uploaded, you can always check out that Patreon. We are four episodes ahead. You can get C full link there as well. Let me check the Discord, make sure there's no Q&As. If you guys don't know, we do have a Discord Q&A section where we do answer anything you guys may want to ask me about any shows. So go ahead and check that out on the Discord, always available. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.